So now I'm going to show you a demo of uh, the Karma Audio AU plugin in uh, action. What we've got here is Final Cut Timeline that's representing uh, a kind of typical commercial as an example. This is a little 30 second spot we've got. We've got uh, video edits in here, we've got some background music, we've even got some gratuitous voiceover as well just to give us a real representation of, of what's going on with our edit. I'm just going to play through this edit uh, and I'm going to use uh, an outboard um, TSL loudness monitor and I'm going to show you some close-ups of that. That's going to be tracking uh, instantaneous loudness and giving you a loudness history so you can see what we're starting off with. If I just play through this now. And what you'll see is that the loudness level on this uh, content here goes way over uh, our target, which in this case we're going for a, a UK style loudness target of uh, minus 18 LUFS on a four second window. Now if you're also watching the PPMs on this, then the PPMs are peaking way over uh, what we're using here, which is PPM 6. Okay, so there's my little ad played through. Now what I'm going to do, and you can see from the output of the uh, loudness monitor, that clearly this isn't going to meet our requirements. So what I'm going to do now is use Karma Audio AU to correct that loudness and true peak. All I'm going to do is wrap this current sequence in a, in a higher level sequence so I can apply the filter in one go to the whole content. So what I'm going to do very quickly here is create a new sequence. going to call that wrapper so I know what's going on. Open that one up on my timeline and then I'm going to take my content edit sequence, sequence we've just been looking at, and drop that onto my timeline Let's get that to match up. So now my content is on my timeline. If I go into that you can see that all it's got in it is the, is the previous edit that I had. If I pop back up to the wrapper level, now I'm going to apply the Karma Audio AU. I come over here to my effects tab under audio filters, as part of iHeight Compliance Suite, I have my Karma Audio AU filter. I'm just going to drag that, drop that onto the stereo pair. Because this is a nested sequence, I'm just going to have to use the context menu to open that audio up in the viewer. And then I'm going to click over here to the filters tab, and you can see that we've got one filter applied to our stereo, which is our Karma Audio AU. You can see here all the parameters we've got. In this instance, we're working short term peak. So we've got a target in LUFS, and in this case, I say we're going with the UK, so we're looking at minus 18 LUFS. I've got some true peak parameters in here, uh, and I'm actually targeting uh, minus 10 dBTP, which is the equivalent of PPM6 in the UK. So I've got a, a clip of minus 10, and I'm allowing a small amount of knee function just to give myself uh, a little less distortion on any true peak clipping that happens. And I've got my true peak compression here set to 2. So this is just where content is going to peak over that clip level, uh, that 2 to 1 compression will be used to pull it back in uh, and keep the, as much of the audio shape as possible. My short term loudness period here is 4 seconds, just because that's the requirement I'm working to. And as I say, we're in short term peak mode and first pass I'm going to run is an analyze pass. I'm just going to use uh, Command R to render that audio. That's the analysis pass rendered. Now all I need to do is pop this into normalize mode re-render the audio. That's done. So now that third second spot has been uh, loudness and true peak corrected. And now if I go back in and I play this back out through the same loudness metering system, you should see that we get significantly uh, better results. So you can see that where previously we were peaking way over our minus 18 LUFS limit, we're now coming perfectly up to that limit. In this instance, we're taking a, uh, some content which was louder than our target, and consequently the, the loudness is being reduced to hit that target. Equally, if I'd produced some content which was too quiet, it would actually boost up to that target level so that I could guarantee that I was getting maximum impact from my content without exceeding those loudness requirements. So that's a demo of the loudness plugin in a simple situation. Now there are a couple of things here to keep in mind which are really key. The first thing is that that's so quick. Not only is the plugin doing your loudness correction, which you could potentially do with an outboard meter, uh, but actually it's doing it so fast, it's doing it nearly 10 times faster than real time. So it's much quicker than you'd be able to do it even with an external meter if you had one. 
The second thing is because it's doing it directly within the Final Cut timeline, you don't actually need any kind of uh, baseband output from your editing system. So you can run this on a, a MacBook Pro, run the plugin and know that you're shipping file base straight from your MacBook Pro, fully compliant with your broadcaster's requirements. Now that's really it for the Karma Audio AU plugin for Final Cut which was the real push of this presentation. But as I said at the beginning, this is about compliance solutions for Final Cut. So it would be remiss of me not to mention the partner plugin for Calm Audio AU, which is Compliance Suite FC. Now this plugin gives us uh, video gamut legalization and also safe area generators for making sure that we have graphics compliance. So the first part of Compliance Suite is our Legalize FC plugin. That gives you best in class legalization PAL, NTSC, NTSC with zero setup if you're working in Japan, RGB, native EBU R103 legalization, which is one of the primary ones in the UK and Europe, soft clipping on both your highlights and your shadows, which you can't do with the inherent ones in Final Cut, uh, extensive user presets that are designed for the broadcast market, and full administrative control. So if you're a facilities house, you can create your own presets and you can restrict your users if you need to. To only access those presets. You can even disable the custom functionality so you can make sure that only the approved presets are being applied by your people. We already have these into a number of uh, substantial customers including Channel 5 who use this extensively now that they've moved all their interstitial content production over to um, file based delivery. They do all their edit in Final Cut, run our Legalize FC Legalizer and then deliver that file directly onto their playout servers knowing that it meets all their broadcast gamut requirements. In addition to Legalize FC, Compliance Suite FC also includes our Safe Eyes FC plugin, which is a professional broadcast safe area generator. So this puts up the cursors that let you know that your graphics content is within the legal area of the picture. Now Final Cut has some safe area markers in it, but whereas Final Cut has two markers, Safe Eyes FC has over a hundred preset cursors designed to cover everything, EBU, ITU, SMPT, and Arab standards. So you can make sure that you're using the right cursors wherever you're delivering content in the, in the world. And actually if you use the Final Cut cursors and you place your graphics according to those, you'll actually find that in many instances, your content will fail a technical check because the cursors are actually set wider than they should be for that particular standard. Another advantage of the uh, SafeEyes FC plugin is that the cursors rend on an external monitor. So if you're sitting working with a client, they're seeing the same cursors on their monitor as you're seeing in your edit system. Uh, you can also modify the way the cursors are displayed, color, opacity, dotted lines, to give you the maximum visibility so you can work clearly and cleanly in what you're doing. Now in addition to generating standard cursors, Safe Eyes FC also includes a couple of measurement tools which have been proved very useful. The first is a text height measurement tool that allows you to place an opaque bar over an area of the screen, match that up with the text that you're working with, and it will read back the exact text height in video lines, so you can check that against your broadcast requirements. That tool will also run in an area measurement mode, and that will allow you to place a cursor uh, as a box, check aspect ratio, and that's pixel corrected aspect ratio, whichever standard you're working in, and it'll also give you the size of the box. Now, as I've already mentioned, the Safe Eyes FC plugin comes with over 100 presets, but if you've got a particular requirement that's not covered by those standards, you can go in as an administrator, you can create custom presets. Equally, if you don't need all those 100 presets and you don't want your end users to be faced with too many choices, you can go in as an administrator and remove any presets that you don't want to use. Now, both the Karma Audio AU and the Compliance Suite FC plugins are available as a direct download from our website. They come with a 15-day trial license that's fully functional, so there's no watermarking, uh, no limitation on their operation. They'll work SD and HD. You can download them, try them, use them on a real job, see how you get on with them. You can download those from www.iheight.com. On our front page, you'll see adverts for both Compliance Suite FC and the Karma Audio AU plugin. If you go to either of those pages, You'll see a download. The download includes both sets of plugins, so you'll get the Compliance Suite FC with Legalize FC and Safe Eyes FC, and also the Karma Audio AU. Once you've got that installed, the install takes something like 20 30 seconds. There's a small activation routine just to activate your 15 day trial license. You can be up and running easily in five minutes, fully functional with all those plugins, and producing 
fully compliant professional broadcast material directly from your timeline, either playing out to tape or for file-based delivery.